Video title, The Seep Model. What if atoms are tiny, intelligent programs? Quantum mechanics works. It's the most successful theory in history. But for over a century, it has come with a cost. Confusion. We're told particles are also waves. That they're in multiple places. At once until we look. That they collapse in a way no one can explain. The math is perfect, but the story feels like magic. What if the problem isn't the universe, but the story we're telling? What if we've been using the wrong metaphor? Part 1. Introducing the... Let's try a new one. Forget solid points. Forget probability ghosts. Imagine every particle, every electron, every atom has a distributed presence. A soft, intelligent cloud of influence. This isn't a wave of probability. It's a real, physical zone where the particle exists, senses, and negotiates. This property leads to a new behavior. We call it SEEP. SEEP is the ability of a particle's presence to enter, overlap, and coexist within the space of another, without collision, merging, or destruction. It is not superposition. It is not interference. It is a physical negotiation between entities. Part 2. The Soul AI and Object-Oriented Reality What guides this negotiation? In the SEAT model, every particle has a core program. A soul AI, not a mystical soul, but a fundamental, self-managing intelligence, the operating system of matter. Think of it like object-oriented programming for the universe. Atom is the parent class. Hydrogen, carbon, these are subclasses. Every hydrogen atom in existence is an instance of the hydrogen class, running the same core code. Its identity isn't a serial number. It's its current state. It's energy, momentum, and memory. And SEEP? SEEP is the public method, the API, that particles use to interact. Part 3. Solving Quantum Mysteries with SEEP Chemical bonding? It's not just electron sharing. It's a stable, deep SEEP agreement. Two atomic soul AI programs find a configuration where their presences can overlap in a lasting, low-energy state. Chemistry becomes a conversation. Part 4. The two protocols remote and close. But how do they talk? The model proposes two fundamental protocols. First, the remote protocol. Particles send photons as message packets. This is the electromagnetic force, a universal. Light speed messaging system. Hey, I'm positively charged over here. This is long range interaction. Second, the close protocol, SEEP itself. When clouds overlap, they establish a direct session. They exchange data. What's your energy? Your spin? Your vibration? And here's a crucial point vibration matters. Thermal vibration isn't just noise, it's a key parameter in the negotiation. Too much vibration and a bond can't form. Matching vibration can lead to resonance, strengthening a connection. Vibration can even provide the collective nudge needed for tunneling. Part 5. The Grand Implication, A Learning Universe This leads to the most profound implication. If particles have state and memory, the universe remembers. An atom in your body isn't generic. Its soul AI may have a memory flag from an epic journey. Was underscore and under supernova equals true. Was underscore part underscore of underscore life equals true. The universe isn't just running equations. It's accumulating experience. SEEP is the process by which particles share not just energy, but information building complexity over cosmic time. And here's the mind-bending recursion. If reality is built like object-oriented software, is it any wonder that our most powerful way to manage complexity, object-oriented programming, feels so natural? We didn't invent it. We inherited it. Our minds, made of atoms running the SEEP OS, discovered the native architecture of reality itself. When we write clean, modular code, we are thinking in the universe's native tongue. Part 6 Single Slit 1. Seep with the slit atoms cloud the negotiation at the wall. The slit isn't a passive hole in an ideal barrier. It's a constellation of atoms, e.g., in a metal, 
with their own vibrating electron clouds. As the free electrons cloud seeps into the spatial domain of these edge atoms, a micronegotiation occurs. What's exchanged? Virtual photons slash energy quanta. This is the electromagnetic interaction. The edge atoms cloud may be temporarily polarized. Momentum. The electron's path could be subtly nudged. Vibrational energy. Phonons. If the slit material is solid, the electron's seep could excite quantized vibrations in the lattice. Result. This interaction imprints information on both the electron and the slit. The electron's cloud is not just trimmed by geometric hole. It is perturbed and shaped by a complex quantum handshake. This could slightly alter its phase, energy, or internal state distribution. Implication for the double slit. This means the famous which way. Information isn't just a binary, did it go through left or right? It's a spectrum of interaction histories. If you could measure the precise vibrational state of the slit atoms. After the electron passes, you might deduce how closely the electron See past them, even without full collision. 2. Off-center passage and exit angle In standard wave optics slash physics, for a plane wave or a symmetric wave packet centered on the slit, the exit angle is straight ahead, zero deflection in the far field. In the seat model, the electron is a localized but soft object. Its center of presence may be off-axis. When it seeps through, the interaction with the slit's atomic clouds is asymmetrical. More seep overlap on the left side of the hole. Dash, more repulsion slash negotiation from left edge atoms. This acts like a gentle quantum. Bounce off the virtual wall of the seep interaction. Result, the electron exits with its trajectory deflected. Slightly away from the side, it interacted with more strongly. Its exit angle is not predetermined. It's emerging from the real-time negotiation. 3. Synthesizing Let's look closer. This isn't a wave. This is a particle with a soft, intelligent presence. It's seep cloud. Notice, its center isn't perfect. And the slit isn't empty. It's lined with atoms. As it seeps through, it doesn't just pass. It negotiates with the very atoms of the slit. More overlap on one side means a stronger interaction which subtly steers it. The exit angle isn't random. It's the direct result of this microscopic conversation. Part 7 Double Slit 1. Double Slit and Single Slit For both the single slit and double slit, the electron cloud seep. With the slit atoms cloud, the negotiation at the wall. With double slit, the electron cloud would pass through two holes. The electron cloud may always coming from the same path. It is not static. The negotiation at the wall is always different. Therefore, their exiting angle and direction are always different. The patterns of single slit and double slit are different. Two double slit exit coupling. With double slit, the electron cloud would pass through two holes. Although the same electron cloud seeping two holes together, the amount of cloud seeping through are not always the same. As a result, there is a force coupling effect between the left and the right cloud. The side with more cloud would dominate the direction more. And because of this exit coupling effect that the single slit doesn't have, their screen patterns are different. Double slit has more factors affecting the directions, that it has a wider pattern. Outro a new story. The seat model isn't a replacement for quantum mechanics. The math stays. The predictions stay. It's a replacement for the story. A story where matter isn't dead, but active. Where the quantum world isn't a paradoxical ghost, but a network of intelligent processes. Where the universe isn't a machine, but a vast, evolving computation. It's the story of a living, thinking cosmos. And we are its conscious expression. What do you think? Does this story feel more true? Let's seep on it in the comments. Related articles and videos. Thank you for watching.